Hello, welcome back to another video. I have had the craziest morning. So I had a doctor's appointment at 9.15 this morning and I was supposed to leave my house at around 8.15. I accidentally set my alarm for 7.45 instead of 6.45. So because I thought I had said it properly, I hit snooze. So I was lying in bed at eight o'clock, feeling like I had a lot of time. And then I was like, I have to leave now. Oh my gosh, I got the time wrong. So I jumped in the shower. I have never showered so fast in my entire life. Brushed my teeth, did all the important things, and then no makeup on, grabbed everything I needed for my day because I'm supposed to be out of the house until like 9 p.m. tonight. And I got here in time for my appointment to literally only be two minutes long. So all that rushing for just like a two minute appointment, <laughs> but I made it, we're good. So now that that's done, I'm going to put my makeup on. And while I do that, I'm going to update you on some events that have happened. So since the last time I filmed anything, it was Super Bowl Sunday. So every year my family watches the Super Bowl and this year it was Kansas City against San Francisco and we were cheering for KC. It was looking really rough the entire time for KC until literally the last play of overtime and they ended up winning. So I was really happy about that. Even though it was really stressful, it still ended up being a really good time. And we got some cute Taylor and Travis moments. And then a couple days after that, we went to lunch with our friend Lisa. We had the best time. We always go to the Cheesecake Factory and it was delicious as always. I always love our little outings because Lisa is also part of the BTS army. So our conversations revolve around BTS and it's just the most amazing time. And then Kendra and I also had our 27th birthday. So we didn't do too much. We're not too big on birthdays, but we did go out to get some dessert the day before and then Actually, on our birthday, we just had a really relaxing day. So no complaints there. And now the most recent thing is that I am in the middle of my midterms right now. So I spent the majority of the past couple of weeks just studying a whole lot. I've tried a new study technique where I use Notion and Quizlet. So what I've been doing for each of my classes is in the review section, I'll be splitting it into different sections and I will then input all of that information into a Quizlet so that it is linked to it and I can test myself just section by section instead of overwhelming myself with the entire content at once. So far, this active recall approach has been working for me, so I think I'm gonna stick with this for my finals. And then in between my studying, I've also been reading a lot on my Kindle. I have so many books I still wanna read and I've already gotten through four this year, so I'm pretty proud of that. If you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. And now that brings us to today where I had my appointment and I woke up really late. <laughs> so my class is at two o'clock today, but I am obviously really early and I have lots of time, but I've decided not to go back home first because that's just a waste of gas since I'm already out this way. So I'm going to probably get a coffee at some point and I'm gonna head to school early to study for my final midterm that's tonight. One of my friends also had an appointment early in the morning so she's gonna meet me there as well. And then I'm on reading week next week so I have a whole week of rest. So with all that being said, let's head to our next location because my makeup is done and I want to finish my audiobook. I am listening to The Night Circus right now and I have like 20 minutes left so I'm gonna finish that now while I drive and I'll see you wherever I end up next. One of the albums that I've been listening to quite a lot lately is by the group called Only One Of. Um, my friend Tracy introduced me to them and we're going to see them in April in concert. So I'm quite excited about that. So I've been listening to their new album. I love it. Dopamine is a bop. Like, let's listen to it now. Sets me in such a great mood. <laughs> What a bop, but I'm really excited to go to this concert because we also have VIP, so we're gonna get to meet them, which is super exciting. I'm so happy Tracy introduced them to me because I love discovering new groups and new music, so I'm so excited for the concert. It's gonna be great. We also, just the other day, got an announcement about Hope on the Street. I am so excited for new music from Hobie and new content. I appreciate the fact that they have content prepared for us for this year and next year until they come back. It's just not gonna be the same. That's the only thing that sucks. It's like yay new content, but you're not having him like actually be there for it. You know what I mean? But regardless of the situation, I am super excited for it. Uh, the teaser kind of stuff we've got like picture wise so far look really cool. 
very hopey, very hope on the street. So I'm interested to see the whole like storyline of the documentary and I want to hear what the songs are going to be like. Pray for me that I get a close parking spot today. My classes this semester are so late that like I never get the good parking spots anymore. It's like rare um, compared to last semester. But since I'm here earlier, I'm kind of hoping I end up with a good one, but I don't know. Let's go down here. I don't think I will. I think I missed the, oh, never mind. I used to hate backing up because I just thought it was too difficult. But then after working at the golf course for years and years and years, I back all the power carts out of the compound that they're in. So I basically drive in reverse all the time. And it's helped me to be able to back up my car. So I literally back into like every spot now because it's just so much easier for me. All right, I've arrived at school. Time to go find a study room. 